Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To run a recorded macro, you can click the Macros button in the Macros group on the View tab in the ribbon. If there are macros that are available to run, then you can choose the View Macros command from the button's dropdown. If you do not see this command, then you may not have any recorded macros available for use. Otherwise, once you select this command, you will see the Macros dialog box appear. To run a macro shown in this list, click on its name to select it. Then click the Run button to run the selected macro. Now you can also delete macros that you no longer want or need using this same dialog box. To delete a macro, select the name of the macro from the macro list and then choose the Delete button. Click the Yes button in the confirmation message box that appears in order to delete the selected macro. Once you've finished using the Macros dialog box, you can click the Close button to close it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.